Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'm really excited to introduce you to a new addition to the Zern PEX line, and that's the inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and two inch quick cert CR fittings. Now, this is the first time that Zern's had a, a, a complete line from half inch all the way through two inch in the polymer fittings, and we're really excited about these because they're just awesome, to be truthful. The quick cert fitting is made out of a material called Raydel. It's a highly corrosion resistant material, and it's just about as tough as they come. In fact, I was telling somebody they're tougher than a Wolverine. So with respect to using these fittings, I think you're going to find them to be the cat's meow, so to speak. Very tough, very corrosion resistant. Now, again, these come in sizes inch and a quarter through two and they're relatively easy to work with if you've already dealt with this, the PEX fittings in the past I think you'll find this to be very straightforward but something that's very helpful with these quick cert fittings is the quick quick cap uh, copper ring for crimping them in place now just to give you an indication of what I'm referring to let's start with the uh, the quick cap fitting it is designed to be pushed on to the PEX tube and what it does is it aligns itself perfectly so that when you crimp it, it's catching all of these stingers on this pipe in the correct location. So in other words, the, you slide it all the way on and it's giving you the correct dimension. You don't have to worry about it slipping back and forth when you go to crimp this thing. The quick cap is going to hold it into position. Also, the quick cap has a little cutaway area on it so that you can see the PEX tube and make sure that it's indexed properly. In other words, that the cap is already put all the way into place. So once we slide that on, you would basically just go ahead and insert the uh, quick cert fitting and then crimp it from there. Now the crimping process is pretty straightforward. Again, if you've crimped the smaller diameter, it's pretty much the same for the larger diameter. We have a crimp tool here. Uh, what one would do is basically open the tool up and then place the fitting within the tool. And you're going to want to center that up perfectly within the tool, and you're also going to want to make sure that the tubing's at a right angle. Once you get that centered up there, all you're going to do in essence is take a large socket and either with a ratchet or with some form of an automatic gun, you're going to tighten that up and that compresses that copper ring and that squeezes the pipe onto the quick serve fitting. Now the beauty of this tool also is the fact that it's got an LED light on it. When you tighten this up and you get to the proper tension, that light will come on and let you know that you're tight enough and you can go ahead and pull the piece out and check that joint to make sure that you've crimped it correctly. Now that's another beautiful feature, talking about checking the crimp. Along with the quick cert fittings and the quick cap, we have a go-go gauge. And the go-go gauge is designed to let you know if you've crimped this fitting correctly. The go-go gauge actually has two different diameters, and they're almost imperceptible to eye. But out at the very tip, it's slightly larger than it is a little farther into the go-go gauge. So all we do to check that joint, and my, by the way, I've crimped this earlier just for the sake of brevity. I take my go-go gauge, and I want to install it at a right angle to the crimp and make sure that it fits onto the pipe. And indeed it does. It goes right up to that narrower section, so that lets you know that this has been properly crimped. Then we rotate it and we want to check right across that joint itself. You'll see a parting line on the copper crimp ring where we've crimped it. We want to make sure that that go-go gauge goes all the way on. So the go-go gauge lets you know that you've done it correctly. Now, one other additional feature of these crimp rings is the fact that if you haven't crimped it enough, you do have the ability to reinstall it back into the tool and crimp it again a second time. In essence, what you want to do in that case, if it hasn't been crimped enough, reinsert your fitting back into the crimping tool and line up, you can see the line on there where the two jaw halves have met. You want to try to line that back up again just like you had it initially. We go ahead and retighten the tool, and once our blue light comes on, we let that set for approximately 15 to 30 seconds. We'll go ahead and loosen it back up, take our joint out, and once again, we we'll check it with our go-go gauge and make sure that we've crimped this properly. So this, this whole, uh, the whole concept behind PEX, you already know, is a wonderful concept for joining pipe. But once we got to these larger diameter uh, quick cert fittings, again, that completed the line for us. So what I think I'd like for you folks to do is to get online at Zern.com, take a look at these fittings. If you have any questions about them, give our customer care team a call and they'll give you more information on the quick cert fitting along with the, with the quick, uh, quick, quick cap crimping ring. And between the two, they can get you spec sheets, instruction sheets, or whatever you may need. I think that you'll find this a very wonderful way to join the PEX pipe.